Okay, uh, we're at the conclusion of round four. Russell's still around. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the, crew, the crew shot up uh, the Land Raider Crusader, uh, trying to take it out with sniper rounds. Uh, didn't quite make it, although one was just an amazing roll. <laughs> Russell rolled a six to hit. Six. Six on the on the weapon. And six. Rolled a six on pen. to pen, and then on the two. damage chart rolls a two, which is stun. But Power of the Machine Spirit allowed me to roll forward a little bit. Unfortunately, when I rolled forward, I immobilized myself because uh, I hit difficult terrain. I'm like, ah, oh, only one sixth chance, but it, he got. Oh, it's, mo is it, it's immobilized. It's immobilized already. Um, but looking at the rest of the objectives as we're going to round five, here's one objective here, completely claimed by the Templars. Second objective there, claimed by the Templars. Third objective here, claimed by the Templars. Um, the one that's back here is contested right now because the guys that are claiming it are still locked into close combat. So that's pretty much the conclusion at this point of uh, turn four. We're going into turn five. Who knows? We'll have a turn six. Uh, props to, to uh, a and decided to decidedly uh, better strategy by Russell. So now we're going to be jumping into turn five and crew go. Looks like they might actually take the land raider out. We're at the conclusion of round five. There will be round six. Um, the land raider that was immobilized uh, Russell had a melt bomb planted on it and unfortunately rolled a 1 and a 2 on the melt bomb result, resulting in an armor penetration of 11, not enough to get past the uh, 14 all around on Land Raiders. So uh, it finally dropped off its cargo, something I've been waiting to do for a while. The Sword Brethren dropped out with Furious Charge and mowed uh, the uh, crew that were sitting in front and uh, consolidated five inches, so kind of jumped up here and moved over. So they're, they're contesting the objective at this point. Uh, pretty much everything else is, nothing else really happened for round five. We're getting into round six. No, I killed you or something. Oh no, I'm sorry. The crew did, in close combat, were successful in killing off the two remaining assault marines that were back here. So, we're now into round six. <laughs> Yay! And uh, we're gonna find out what how this game concludes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the goal? Is yeah. All right, ready? Here we go. Four plus. Ah. Oh. Okay, it's a one. So there is no turn seven. Let's go ahead and recap for the conclusion of the game. All right. At the end of this game, um, the Black Templar are now in control of all objectives. During the crew phase, they fired uh, on the Land Raider, and unfortunately, after an immobilization on my part, the Land Raider still surviving. The sword brethren that jumped out uh, were attacked by the crew that were still back here and between, and actually survived, the, the crew actually survived that, that close combat, taking out three marines in the process. The assault marines that were behind the building jumped forward and joined the close combat, so between these two groups they took out the one uh, shaper that was still left in the crew. Uh, and the Emperor's Champion squad just made a, a mad dash, rolling pretty well, and getting within three inches of the crew base. Everything else on the board has stayed as is, so we're at the conclusion of the game. Uh, uh, yeah, Russell again, uh, six rounds, man. Yeah. So going from, good. going from three to six rounds, that's huge. That's a yeah. huge. That's that's a huge I'm uh, bringing, improvement. I'm gonna bring 220 crew next time to this game and see what happens then. He, he's he's gonna tru truly swarm. <laughs> The table. I'll be like, I want to. I want to deep strike my my drop pod. He's like, where? <laughs> exactly. I, don't think, I don't think you have room. <laughs> Maybe like in that corner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, it's it's definitely a strategy. I know the IG do that to me quite some time, with like spreading out all their guys uh, uh, yeah. to the point that it's like there's no place to put it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, a little room. Yeah. So it was a good game, and but we're we're here at the conclusion. We're going to be posting this video, and shortly thereafter, uh, I'll be doing all the editing work to place up the first Warhammer 30,000, which actually occurred about uh, eight hours ago at this point. <laughs> Wrapped up about eight hours ago. We're going to be posting that after this video. Um, so you'll see round one for the Imperial Fist after uh, witnessing the Black Templar win here.